Hi, Happy New Year. I hope you're all well. I'm doing well too. So in this video, I'm going to be making this kind of pinafore strap dress design. We'll just call it that. Yeah. So this is the fabric that I'm using. It's a lightweight cotton fabric that I liked. I like the color. And now this is the lining that I'll be using. It's also lightweight, but a bit sturdy, a bit harder, just a bit. But it uh, will work perfectly with this fabric. The lining is one and a half meters and the main fabric is two meters. Both 45 width. Yeah, I think both are 45 width. And uh, this is my pattern, my bodice block pattern that I'll be basing my design off of. Yeah, it's a self drafted pattern. Yeah, so I check Pinterest for ideas, inspiration, also just procrastination. <laughs> Here I'm just looking at different designs to see if I can find different styles although the design concept is still the same yeah so I found many new ideas took some left some yeah, just for inspiration and yeah that's what I found for the moment I'm using my phone because my battery is charging as you can see, so uh, I don't want to stop filming, so I'll continue with my phone for now. So I'll measure from my shoulder, and uh, from my shoulder I want it to go down seven and three quarter inches or seven and a half. I'll use seven and three quarter. So from my shoulder I'll go down seven and three quarter inches, right there. That's where I want it to reach, and then um. Using that point, I'll make the curve that I want to make. So this goes straight. So I want you to come something like that. See? <laughs> so yeah, that's how it will look like just a slight curve straight and then curves a bit this point I'll measure from here to here and then now this measurement I measure from here to here so that it is equal that is three and a quarter ish kind of but not exactly and almost a quarter but not a quarter and then mark there Now I'm going to trace out this and this. I think I know the quality is not the best with the phone camera, but bear with me, please. So here I'm tracing out the back, which is going to be separated as well. It's going to have a princess line there along the dart. I'm going to cut it out. The front already has the pieces separated. Yeah, so it also has a princess curve separated as well. Now adding seam allowance to the patterns. I normally don't usually add seam allowance. I just add seam allowance while I'm cutting. But this time I did. I guess I just wanted to work faster when it came to cutting. Although for me there's no major difference, but it's nice to have the seam allowance already there. See so that, especially when you're tight on fabric and you don't have extra, and you need it to be just exact. That helps a lot. I normally sharpen my pencil with a razor because all the sharpeners I've had end up cutting my pencil. They don't do the job right, so just use a razor. Who else uses a razor? <laughs> this is just me. Here I'm making the strap pattern because I don't want it to be a normal straight strap. There's nothing wrong with a straight one. I just wanted one that will, how do I say, fit my body exactly. Follow the curve of my shoulders. So, pins, scissors, patterns. Now I'm laying the fabric in order to start cutting the patterns. So I place them on top to see how much fabric I'll use. And then pin them down once I decide and cut them. So here I am measuring the 
leftover fabric to see if it's enough for the skirt which it was yeah now I'm cutting the length of the skirt which was just below the knees and I'm also making the skirt even by cutting the uneven parts here I was trying to see if, if I should do pleats or gathers but I ended up doing gathers maybe I'll do the pleats in another design but they also look nice this is the lining now I want to cut the skirt pattern I'm going to place it on top and then use that main fabric pattern to cut the lining <laughs> yeah the only thing I did was make the lining shorter because you don't want it to be picking out when I'm also cutting the lining pieces for the bodies I'd already cut the main fabric and that's the lining I was trying to add some extra fabric so that it's not too fitting but I guess I was up with the outcome anyways regardless I think it's better to just do it on the patterns yeah, yeah. beforehand and start joining the pieces so this is the lining use your notches this ones so that your fabric does is not is even otherwise you might find one side is longer than the other and you don't want that so here I'm pinning it and I'm going to do that for the lining as well as for the main fabric and then stitch them all together well separately that is <laughs> This is the strap and this is the lining piece. I'm going to join them, but then I'll leave the top and bottom. Can you hear the dogs? This time I'm doing a voiceover. So now I'm joining the pieces here. While teaching the first part, I forgot to Pull the fabric while stitching so that it doesn't bunch up but it did however the iron helped so I didn't have to repeat but in the second one as you'll see I use I, I pull while stitching As you can see this, how I'm pulling while stitching this one. Yes, that part. Yeah. here I'm stitching the strap like I told you stitch on the sides and then leave the top and bottom because you're going to use that to turn the fabric now you need to uh, cut off the excess fabric so that when you turn it it's not um, what do I, it's not bulky yes Snip the princess lines as well for the bodies so that it lies well on your body for the lining and for the main fabric. Yes, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> so here I'm sandwiching the strap. To the main fabric I'm first going to stitch it to the main fabric and then I'll add the lining later to sandwich the strap in between them as you shall see I'm making sure yeah, it's the right side because 
it was easy to confuse since it's not just a straight strap so it has to go to the right side I'm now placing the lining by first pinning it and then I'll stitch it later So this is after stitching and overlocking and finishing and all that. These are the straps. This is how they look like after they're sandwiched. And yeah. Also I top stitched on the wrong side. Instead of on the lining part, I stitched on the main fabric part. So now I have to seam rip, which was a slow, long, tedious process. So this is the gathering method I'm using. You use yarn and then you do a zigzag stitch but not stitching on the yarn. So make sure the zigzag stitch is wide enough and also make it to the longest stitch and then later on you'll pull. I was doing this while using, uh, filming with one hand and stitching with the other so there are many cut out parts <laughs> that I've edited out so that you don't see my phone falling all the time. Is, this method is so easy and just makes the gathering much more fun than normal because <laughs> before you're like normally you have to do like two stitches or three and then pull and then ugh, I don't know just annoying this one is much easier according to me and then you just pull 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 I'm still doing with one hand because I'm filming that's why it doesn't look normal <laughs> yeah and then you remove the end after you're done after you've now done the main stitch with the machine you pull the yarn you can use it later again that's how it looks like mine was not um, too gathered it was just slightly gathered so that's how it looks like this is the lining and after it has been attached to the bodice block I did the same for the lining in terms of gathering yeah and then I've attached the lining to the main fabric the only thing left now is the zip which I will attach later yeah so here's the zip I'll use it's a hidden zip I'll first stitch it onto the main fabric and then later onto the lining and I'll also hem the bottom after overlocking yeah like half an inch not half an inch I used an inch I think this is the final product on the inside love that it's clean on the inside just as it is on the outside I've come a long way <laughs> this is not how my garments it lo used to look like in the past and um yeah I've uh, hemmed the bottom as well yeah this is how it looks like on the outside The gathering was not so even at the back, I didn't distribute them um, completely well because at some point you're just tired, you're like however it comes out, then it comes out. But like how it came out, this is the final product. I love that you can dress it down, I think you can also dress it up with, depending on the kinds of shoes you wear <laughs> and, and what you wear underneath. But this is one of my favorite projects ever. I think the fabric does a lot as well because the fabric was really nice. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.